Finally, hello, hi everyone. My name is Monday, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. These two just exchanged poems, and now Natsuki's frustrated, and Yuri's just like, Ugh, what a scrub. Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out as nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. And your pal Boofy did, too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer. But I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. Ooh, excuse me. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. <laughs> And your pal Boofy liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? eh? That's not what I... Ugh. You, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that your pal Boofy appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. <laughs> oh, damn! That's a burn! She's gonna need some aloe vera for that. Monica, dispense now! Ugh! Uh, uh, um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one. His boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as your pal Boofy started showing up. N Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little. This doesn't involve you! I do like fighting, guys! Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Your pal Boofy, she, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point of making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, your pal Boofy. Well, wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to complain complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, your pal Boofy? Um... Well? How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. I'm a narc! But whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. So, of course, that's going to be... Oh, God. Um, Natsuki, you're here. Sayori! Save me! N natsuki Natsuki glares at me, drying up any words I had in my mouth. So instead, I turn to Yuri. Yuri... But Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Sayori! Uh? Yeah. Everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Your pal Boofy. Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I, I agree. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she's being. She would never. It's your immaturity that's made her upset in the first place. Excuse me. Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why, exactly why nobody likes STOP! Natsuki, Yuri, you guys are my friends. I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people, and I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems. 
They're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented, so why are we fighting? Be because... Well... Also, not that he's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were. Big and beautiful. Hmm? Eh? Sayori. Sayori stands triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. We're all shocked at Sayori's immaturity. I... I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So, this is why Sayori is vice president. I whisper. Oh, so this is why Sayori is vice president, I whisper to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might have come off as a good leader, and I can organize things, but I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing of me. Ahahahaha. <laughs> nah. It's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that just means Sayori is amazing in her own ways, isn't she? You you could say that. She's... Whoo! She's something else. She's smart, and she's kind, and she's pretty, and I like her bow, and I wake her up in the morning. Or No, no, I don't wake her up in the morning. You could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. I don't like that sh I don't like that shitting and grin while you say that. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to knot. Such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. Okay, everyone, it's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing bombs? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Your pal, your pal Buffy, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you'll learn something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. You're Pop Buffy! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori, about what happened earlier. Oh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, 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 no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just think they're creepy, and Monica is terrifying, and you're the only kind of normal person. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew, you know your pal Buffy? It's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club, but I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. That's... <laughs> Every day is gonna be so much fun! <sighs> Sigh. It looks like Sari still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? I can tap everyone at once! We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay! Yeah. Let's do this! Let's do this! Next time on Book! So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more, don't forget to click the like button down below and subscribe to the channel to see more of this kookiness every single day. And I will see you lovely, beautiful, amazing marshmallows in the next one.